If you spend even a little bit of time watching birds, you'll see that many walk while appearing to move their heads back and forth. Whether on land or in water, the distinctive head bob almost always accompanies walking. It's easy to see this in a pigeon, but many other birds have this behavior as well. What's this all about, and why do they do it? First things first, the head bob that we see is not actually the bird bobbing its head with each step, though they certainly give that perception. What it's doing is thrusting the head forward, then holding it still, while the rest of the body catches up. The head never moves behind the body and is always pushing out in front. Now, in birds with a longer neck, like a heron, there will be some retraction to accommodate for the longer neck length. The next logical question is, why do they do this? When a bird juts the head forward and holds it stable, it gives the retina time to process the image while waiting for the body to catch up. This is useful for helping them see food or predators and to make sense of their environment. It also gives them a continuous picture of their surroundings. Without it, the world would look like a blur. Our eyes actually do the same thing. Our eyes don't move smoothly, but jump from one point to another. If you watch a train go by, your eyes are actually jumping back and forth to give you a continuous image of the train. The time in between jumps is how the retina processes what we see and sends the image to the brain to give us a stable image. In 1978, researchers put a pigeon on a treadmill and found that if the bird's walking velocity matched the belt velocity, then no head bobbing movements were produced because their surroundings were still. The majority of birds can't move their eyes in their sockets like we can. Some can tilt their eyes slightly, but they can't move their eyes all around. So in order to look at something else, they have to move their whole head, whether it's pushing the head out in front of the body, or as in the case of owls, swiveling and tilting their heads to get a different perspective. So how do birds see when they fly? The research says that in the high intensity motion of flight, their heads become a stable platform. During flight, you don't want moving eyes as it would take away from stability and reduce accuracy of visual information. What you do want is gaze stabilization, which is why you don't see birds bobbing their heads while in flight. Not all birds move their heads when they walk, either. Sparrows and finches don't walk, but hop. And if you look at these killdeer, they're not moving their heads at all as they run around. So there's still much more to be learned and understood about how birds see. I really hope you enjoyed hearing about this topic. Have you ever noticed these differences in how some birds seem to bob their heads while others don't? Feel free to leave a comment down below. Thank you for watching. That's all for this time. I'll see you again soon.